I recently had a tire in my wife's car go flat and it just frustrates me that you know auto work is so expensive and it frustrates me that these stupid cars are, are always having problems with them and it it, 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 it it annoys me that it's so expensive and you know I'm I'm always strapped for cash and and with the little money that I have I, I, I don't want to have to be spending it on auto work. I'd rather be spending my money on things that you know can have some more meaning to my life rather than simply maintaining the things that I already have. I don't understand why when I pay such good money for these cars that they always seem to be upset. You know, they always seem to be breaking down. God has blessed us to live in an age when such rapid transportation is possible. Well, I mean, it might not be so rapid for those poor guys over there who are stuck in commute traffic. You know, they might be cursing the day somebody invented the automobile, but really these cars are quite wonderful contraptions. And God's blessed us to live in such a time as we can take advantage of these things. When we do our auto work, we cannot forget that we are Christians. We cannot forget that the rules, the laws of God are still in effect. We are still required to love our neighbor as ourselves, which Jesus said is the second greatest commandment. And this includes the people that we run into when we do the auto work. Which means we mustn't take our aggravations and our frustrations about our economic and automobile problems with the people who are working at the car shop. We have to learn to discipline ourselves, and it takes discipline sometimes to love our neighbor as ourselves. It doesn't always flow out of us quite so naturally, which is why it is a command, something that we must do. We are required to love our neighbor as ourselves, and this means that we need to show the love of God. We need to show the principles of love. Even when we're doing such mundane things as auto work, we cannot allow the circumstances of economic hardship, of monetary tightness, of all these bad situations, and we all get stuck in bad situations a lot of the time. We cannot let these situations have mastery over our attitudes and over our reaction to things. We must always allow Jesus to rule our reactions to things by allowing his command to love our neighbor dominate and rule our reaction even with such random things as auto workers who are really just doing a job and just trying to help us.